we're going on a field trip. Good morning, it's Monday. I didn't have any time to sit down and talk this morning because I didn't get here until quarter past eight, which is really late for me. But my guys are outside for recess for another 10 minutes, so I have a little bit of time now to talk about what we did during centers today. The Easter season is going to be starting here in a couple days. And tomorrow is actually Fat Tuesday or Mardi Gras, or as we call it in Pennsylvania, Fashnacht Day. But I don't know if it's all areas of Pennsylvania or like just where I was raised. I have no idea. At least in the area that I grew up, we celebrated Fashnacht Day or Fat Tuesday by eating donuts. So tomorrow I am going to be taking my kids on a field trip to Dunkin' Donuts at the Central Train Station, and everybody's gonna get a donut. So since we're doing that tomorrow, I thought it would be fun to have a couple donut activities in the classroom today. At the orange table, I put out Play-Doh, so my kids were making their own donuts out of Play-Doh. I cut out these little frosting shapes from like eight different colors of paper. So my kids came to the green table and they picked a color of frosting and then they used markers to decorate the frosting for their donut. And here are just a couple examples of what some of the frosting looked like. So now what I need to do is actually cut out the little donut shape that we're going to be gluing these on. And then I haven't decided whether or not we're gonna put holes in them. I think maybe I'll just ask my kids and the ones that want their donuts to have holes will have them and otherwise they'll just be, I don't know, cream filled donuts, I guess. And I really wanna leave at 2.30 today, so I'm going to try to cut out the donut shapes while my kids are eating lunch but I'm not sure if I'm gonna get that accomplished because lunch is kind of a crazy time. So there is a possibility that I'm gonna have to stay for a little bit to get all these donuts finished. Anyway, my kids are gonna be coming inside in about five minutes and I still have to set up for lunch. We are eating in the classroom all this week because the canteen is currently being used by the upper school because they are setting up their exhibition. So yeah, I'm gonna set the lunch up and then go get my kids and I will probably talk to you tomorrow because as I mentioned before, I'm leaving at 2.30 today. Good morning, y'all. It's Tuesday. You saw yesterday that we made a bunch of donuts and that was because today is Fajnat Day or Mardi Gras or Fat Tuesday. There's a bunch of different names for it. And since it is a Pennsylvania Dutch tradition to eat donuts on Fajnat Day, that's exactly what we're going to do. I am going to be taking my class to Dunkin' Donuts at the Central Train Station. It's going to take a while and it's a really long trip just to get donuts, but it's gonna be a lot of fun. My assistant teacher and I were gonna take this trip by ourselves, but my boyfriend was kind enough to volunteer to come and join us, so he's coming along too. Anyway, I just heard the bell, so I am going to get my coat on and get ready to go outside to get my class. Y'all, this has been such a crazy day. The field trip went really well and my kids had so much fun. We were back at school by 12 o'clock, which was awesome timing. And I'm really glad that it didn't really mess up the schedule for the rest of the day. I really wanna do more field trips, even though they are emotionally draining and physically exhausting, they're always worth it. 
It is almost five o'clock. I did not anticipate staying here this long, but I had an idea for what I wanted to do tomorrow because it's Wednesday and I like to do their most intense lesson on Wednesday. So I really wanted to introduce this activity, but I can't find the things that I need for it anywhere in my classroom. So then I thought of something else as a backup plan and then the things that I needed for that were nowhere to be found either. I have no idea where anything is in my room apparently. So after tearing apart my room, looking for the activity I originally wanted to do, and then having to remake the things that I needed for the backup activity, it is now five o'clock and I am so ready to go home. So I'm gonna pack up and I'm gonna go home. Good morning, y'all. It's Wednesday. I got here a little bit later than I did yesterday. I went to the gym again last night and I was just too tired to bike, I'm not gonna lie. But you know what? It was only my second time going to the gym ever, so it's going to take me a week or two to get into the routine of working out and biking. Anyway, on Wednesdays, I do not have any prep time, so this is probably gonna be the only time I get to sit and talk. I mentioned yesterday that I was here until five o'clock, tearing my room apart, looking for stuff that I wanted to use for activities, which were nowhere to be found. So I ended up making a new set of Kaboom. I mentioned this game in a video that I made last spring, I think. Really easy game. All you need are popsicle sticks and a Sharpie. So on all these sticks, there's either letters or Kaboom. I used to put these in a cup, but this year I think I'm going to use a toilet paper roll. So what you do is you put them in here. And I play this game usually in groups of three or four. So each kid goes one by one and they pick a stick and they identify the letter. If they don't know the letter, they will use the alphabet card to help them out. It goes to the next friend who picks a stick and identifies it, who picks a stick and identifies it. And they keep going around until they find one that says kaboom. And the friend that pulls kaboom has to put all their letters back in. Basically, I really want to help my kids with their letter recognition. And I think if we play this game over and over and over and over, and they keep seeing the letters, that they'll start identifying letters that they haven't been able to in the past. But it's going to be a slow process because at the beginning, a lot of them are still going to be using the alphabet card to help. Anyway, I have to go outside and get my class right now, so I will most likely be checking in with you again tomorrow morning. Good morning, y'all. It's Thursday. I woke up a little bit later than I wanted to today, so I ended up biking to work. I didn't get here until 8.10, so I only had time to set up my classroom. I didn't have time to sit down and check in. I left work at 2.45 yesterday because I was hosting game night for me and my friends. We just started playing a new board game and we are trying to meet up pretty regularly to play it. So as a result, I didn't have time to check in at the end of the day. I taught my kids how to play Kaboom. They all really enjoyed it and I think we're definitely going to do it again next week. Anyway, my kids are still gonna be in PE for another half hour, so I am going to use that time to print out another copy of the resource that I spent about an hour looking for on Tuesday. And then what I wanna do is import all the video that I took from our field trip, which really wasn't a lot, maybe only a couple minutes of footage, but I do wanna see if I can put it together to make a short video to share with the parents. So yeah, I'm gonna stop talking about it and start doing it. Good morning, y'all. It's Friday. It is a little after 11 o'clock. My kids are outside for recess. During centers today, we did a math activity that involved two different color dice and two different colors of counters. 
So the way this worked is one kid is orange and the other is blue. So if the blue friend rolled their die, they would see how many of the blue counters they needed to put in the middle. And then the orange friend would take their turn to roll the die and see how many orange counters they would add in the middle as well. And then we would put the blue counters and the orange counters side by side, and then we would count the whole group to add the quantities. My kids seem to really enjoy this activity. It was a lot of fun. We are definitely gonna be doing this again next week, and I think we are going to be using this activity for our student-led conferences next month. Anyway, I have about 10 minutes before my kids come back inside from recess and I have a lot that I need to put on Seesaw. I have pictures from yesterday that I need to add and I also took video of each pair doing the dice activity today. So I need to put those videos up on Seesaw as well. And I mentioned yesterday that I wanted to work on a field trip video for the parents, but I have not started editing it yet. So I think that's gonna turn into a weekend project which I don't mind because I actually really love editing videos. But anyway, I need to stop talking because I gotta put this stuff on Seesaw. But I think I'm gonna end this vlog right here because I don't really stay any later than 2.30 on Fridays. So that's gonna be it for this vlog and I'll see you in the next one. Ugh. Why would I do that? Oh my gosh, the bell just rang. Oh my god, no. I dropped the sticks! My hair is getting really long. Where the heck is it? I am just now realizing that I really need to pee.